Hey everybody, uh, welcome to a Astronomy 112 Online, uh, an introduction to stars, galaxies, and cosmology. Um, I'm Brian Glein, hey. Um, I'm making this video to uh, just hit the highlights of the syllabus, give you a little introduction into how to navigate the Canvas page so that you can find everything you want to, and um, just put you in a good position to get started with the semester. So, um, let me start off with my little uh, PowerPoint here. Um, I, okay, um, well, first off, as with every class, read the whole syllabus. It's there for you. It's there to help you out. Um, but I'm going to hit the high points here right now. Um, I'm, I'm Brian Glein. Hey, um, kind of wanted to, I, I'm not on camera for most of the lecture videos, so I thought I would try to give you a, a face to, to go with the voice and the name. Um, if you need to email me, Canvas is the best place to do that. Um, it's, it's, the whole class is going to load through Canvas, so, um, if you need to send me a message, then send me a message through there. If Canvas is down or something, um, then that Gmail address right there, is uh, is set up for you so that's that's the email address just for students to email me so that i don't get spammed with lots of other emails it's just for y'all um so that 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 way i can get that back to you faster but again canvas is probably easiest my office hours are uh right there um i'm gonna have physical office hours and virtual office hours at the same time so if you, if you need to drop by, again, office hours are, you don't need to make an appointment. You just drop in with any question you have, um, and I'll be here for you. So if you're on campus and you want to drop by my office, my office here is PS 110 in the Physical Science Building. Um, and if you just want to have a virtual office hour, um, then it's at that uh, URL, at that Google Meet URL right there. So I'll be in the room and on Google Meets at the same time, whatever works for you. Um, the only required texts for the class are uh, a subscription to the Argos homework platform. Uh, Argos is an online lesson uh, system that is uh, through ASU, and um, we've helped design it and set it up also. So um, it's uh, sort of online lessons and simulations, and so it's 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 as it's as hands on as we can make it, so that you get a real taste for doing real science. Um, and so that Argos is is where the lab component of this class will will be assigned through. Um, it costs a bit of money, um, but that's the only thing for you to buy for the class. The textbook, which I'll show you here in a second, is. We've titled it The Astronomer's Tool Belt, and it's a textbook written by us here on campus, and so we wrote it and we're giving it to you for free. So uh, we're trying to save you a little bit of money here. Um, like we'll see in a second, the textbook, the, the Astronomer's Tool Belt book, is its tutorials, its practice problems. It's not really a traditional textbook um, because science isn't done by reading a textbook. Right, you don't just you don't just like read a book about science and that's the same as doing science. It's not. It's it's reading about science. Whereas this is a this is a science class. We want you to be doing real science. And so one of the ways to do that is to get an get an introduction to an idea and then run with it and see how it makes sense and how it works. And that's what the the astronomer's tool belt is for. If you are the kind of student that would benefit from a traditional textbook, you know, if, if you, if you're, it's, you don't need to make this decision right now, but, you know, in a week or two, if you go, you know, I really wish I had like a chapter to help me understand what's going on. The textbook that I recommend is the OpenStax textbook. Um, it's, it's an open, you know, OpenStax is a company that makes free online textbooks. And hey, can't be free, right? So, um, but but it, but it also has the virtue of being a pretty good textbook. So um, if you would like a book to, to read along and help you out with the material, go to that website, 
you can you can read the book through the website or I think you can download a PDF, although it's a pretty big book, so it would be a huge PDF file. But but also you can just read it through the through the website. Um, and if sort of reading a traditional textbook doesn't help you at all, don't do it. So your mileage may vary, and I, I just have that I have that idea there. Some students have gotten uh, value out of it in the past, and so it's there for you if you want. But it's not going to be a required assignment. I'm not going to assign chapters out of the book. It's just there to help you out if you need it. Um, okay, like I said, uh, everything is going to be loaded through Canvas. So Canvas is where I'll send out an announcement or we can email each other. It's where you'll read the syllabus. It's where I will post my lecture slides and link to my lecture videos. It's where I'll link the homework, the Argos lessons, the final project, the quizzes, um, which I'll show you here in a sec. I'll show you all this here in a sec. And it's also got the grade book so you all know how you're doing in the class. Um, so I'll show you what the Canvas page looks like here in a, in a moment. Um, Okay, the here's the here's the the grade structure of the class. The homework will be assigned out of the textbook, uh, and I'll show you how that's going to work in a moment. Um, that'll be twenty five percent of the grade. Every two weeks, I'll give you a quiz based on what we've gone over the the previous two weeks. Uh, if all goes according to plan, there will be eight quizzes by the end of the semester. I'm going to take, at the end of the semester, I'm going to take your top five quiz scores, and that's what goes into your final grade. And, you know, your lower scores will get dropped. Um, why do I do that? Because I want you to constantly be thinking about, is the material making sense? Um, are you understanding it? And if not, then I want you to ask for help, right? Like I said, this class is not reading about science, it's doing real science. And let me tell you, in reality, science is never done one at a time. It's never done in solitude, right? Science is done like anything humans do. We do it better when we do it together, and we do it when we help each other out, right? Science is done more correctly faster, more efficiently, easier when we help each other out, when we put our heads together. And so as you go, if you find yourself stuck or confused, I want you to post a question to the discussion boards or come into office hours and ask me for help. Because that's my job. My, I'm here to help you, you know, keep your brain pointing in the right direction and give you a friendly nudge to go for it. Um, and if you have questions, the discussion boards and email, or not email, but uh, the discussion boards and office hours, that's what they're there for. Um, every two weeks, you're going to review what we've done those two weeks. You're going to review the lecture videos. You're going to review the homework, the labs, review everything that we've gone over those two weeks, because I want you to make sure that it's making sense before you open the quiz. Because the quizzes will not be long, they're usually a dozen questions, and you, but you, have only, you only have like 18 minutes to do it. So it's timed. You don't have time to be reviewing in the middle of the quiz. I want you to review everything, make sure it's making sense. If it's making sense, great, go do the quiz. If it's not making sense, ask for help. Because I want you to have reviewed and for, it, for you to be in a good position and for it to be making sense before you open up that quiz. Because you only get one attempt on the quizzes, better do right the first time. All right. Notice there's no midterm exam. There's no final exam. So that's my deal with you is I'm not going to give you a midterm or a final exam, but you got to put in the work of reviewing every two weeks, make sure it makes sense. So you do well in the quizzes because those quizzes make up a big percentage of the overall grade. All right. There's no final exam. There's just a final project. What does that mean? Again, science is not really done via tests, you know, via a written test, multiple choice or something, right? Um, that's not real science. Um, so the final project is going to be a big 
simulation where you're going to make the measurements that you would actually make in astronomy. You're going to analyze those measurements to figure out what you can figure out about stars and galaxies and cosmology. Um, and so instead of a, an exam, you're going to have a project where you do the real thing, do the real science, figure out what you can figure out about all the things that we've talked about uh, throughout the semester. And, um, and that's what you're going to do instead of a final exam. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot more, it's a heck of a lot more interesting than an, an, an exam. So we'll talk more toward the end of the semester. Or I'll post another video telling you what, how you're going to do the final project. But, you know, it, it, in the meantime, just know that that's how the semester is going to wrap up. And then the other, the last quarter of the, of the course points are, the labs that you're going to do uh, through Argos. All right, so let me show you what that's actually going to look like. Um, here's the Canvas page, right? To get started, click Start Here. Um, okay, not helpful. Uh, all right, um, so instead, you're going to go, well, the, the, why does that not work? That's weird. Okay, well, hopefully I'll fix that. Um, either way, uh, if that doesn't work, I'll be darn. All right. Uh, well, anyway, the, the, the start here button just takes you to the modules page. So you could just, if that's not working, click on go to modules, click on modules. Um, all of the assignments are going to be listed. All, all of the assignments for the class are going to be listed in uh, under the modules. So to do the class, just go to the modules page and do all of the assignments in order. And that's the class. Um, to get started with the semester here, read my welcome message. There's going to be things in the welcome message that I'm not saying here in the video, so make sure you read that. Uh, here's a copy of the syllabus. Read the syllabus. Read the whole syllabus. Uh, this is the video you're watching right now, so check. Um, here's the textbook. Okay, so let's, let's go to the textbook here. All right. Um, the textbook, the, the Astronomer's Tool Belt, each of the lessons is broken up into these little, what we're calling microtask tools. So microtask one or tool one about using calculators to help us do the math. All right. Um, for all of these microtask tools, you're there. The first two pages are pages of notes. You might call it a study guide. Um, some of these study guide pages have some questions for you to fill in, right? There's a few questions there for you to answer, all right? That's the lesson part, right? You're going to read those notes pages to get the essential idea. You know, what's the, what's the important information you need to, to do this kind of thing, all right? After you've read the notes pages and answered any questions on the notes pages, then the third page is some practice problems. They're pretty, that we're called micro tasks because they're pretty short and sweet, right? Um, it's not a whole chapter to read, just a little bit. Um, read the notes pages. If that's making sense, go ahead and do the practice problems. Piece of cake, all right? Um, and then, you know, the next, well, there's a little bit that spills over to page four, but, you know, the next one is uh, tool number two, all right? Two pages of notes, right? And then some practice problems, and we wanted to give you some more practice problems, so we actually, the practice problems spill over into the fourth page. But that's it. That's it, and then it's tool three. All right? So here's what you're going to do uh, to go back to the modules here. Well, I'll, I'll get back to that once, once I talk about the assignments. So, But that's the book. Okay. If you want to do the whole class on your computer and you just, you know, download the PDF and you can just read the PDF, that's fine. Um, for me, I'm the kind of person, and there's actually a lot of research to back this up, that, you know, you you remember things better. You remember them in long-term memory better when you, like, physically write it down, okay? So I would encourage you, get the book in paper form, right? Get a hard copy of the book. Um, so I'm not going to make you print it out yourself because that would be expensive. So if you want me to print up a copy of the book for you, I'll do that. Just answer this survey. I'm going to have everybody fill out the survey so that I know how many copies of the book 
to order. I'll order them from the print shop. When the books come in, I'll send out a message to the class telling you the books are available in the department office and you can swing by and pick it up at your leisure. Um, so if you want a copy of the book, I'll tell you, I, it's, it's a lot easier to go through these lessons when you're not staring at a computer screen, right? You're going to remember it better. You'll, it'll be easier to review um, for the quizzes and for the final project. So I, I encourage that. Um, but if doing it in a, you know, if, if, if typing your answers into a PDF is, is fine for you, good on you. Whatever works for you. All right. Uh, so fill out that survey telling me whether or not you want a copy of the book, a physical, a physical copy of the book. Uh, and then the last thing to get the semester started is I need you to fill out this form telling me that you've read the syllabus. So after you've read the syllabus, fill out that form. You have to do this. If I, this is basically like first day attendance, right? And the college, the college requires me to take attendance on the first day of the class. If you're not there on the first day of class, I have to drop you from the course. So make sure that you've filled out that syllabus acknowledgement on day one. Um, so that, so that I, you know, so that I, I know that you've read the syllabus and you're ready to start the class. If you don't fill that out, I have to drop you from the class. So make sure to get that done. All right. Once you've done that, you're ready to get started. Okay. Uh, I have, I only have uh, module one up now, which is fine. Um, but what does that mean? Oh, fine. Um, I'll fix that. I'll fix the due date on this. That's, that's. Doesn't, doesn't mean anything. Um, oh, and that's that's that post. I mean, I'll, I'll fix all the due dates here in a in a minute. Um, I need to I need to change that for this semester. But um, here's how the class is going to work. All right. Uh, for every topic, I have my lecture video. All right. Click on that assignment. Um, it'll have a copy of my lecture slides. So I have my lecture slides there for you to print out or do it on your computer and and take notes so it's it's my lecture slides and a little room on the page for you to take notes as you're watching the video this is not an assignment it's not required but i've had a lot of students in the past say it really helps them take notes and review uh review the material so if 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 that would help you you know download those lecture slides print them off or whatever and and uh, take notes as you watch the video, and then click on this. This will link you to YouTube where I've posted the videos. Um, all right, so watch that video. After you've watched the video, then you can start on the Argos lesson. So here's how it'll here's how it'll work. All right, um, make sure you're not blocking pop-ups. All right. Um, okay, it'll start off with okay. Fill this out. Say I agree. Okay, then you'll go to, oh, I think my camera's in the way. You'll go to go to course. All right, and then you're ready to get started. I think the easiest way to do this is go to the learn, go to the learn tab over here. It gives you all the lessons, but in this graphical way that kind of is annoying, um, I think it's easier to just go to the outline view and it'll list all of the assignments for the class. So click on the first one. The first assignment is Intro 3 Science. And when you click on that, you it'll start the lesson. OK, here's the thing. In Argos, there are two kinds of assignments, uh, lessons and applications, or sometimes the applications are called assessments. Um, but basically, the lesson is the big, long lesson walking you through all the ideas. Here's the thing. The Argos lessons won't let you proceed to the next page if you're not getting all the questions correct on your current page. You have to get the answers right for it to move you to the next page. All right? So if you find yourself stuck, Right? You can't go to the next page because you're getting the answers wrong and you don't know why you're getting the answers wrong. Post a question to the discussion board or come into office hours and ask me for help in real time. All right? um, we're here to help each other out. I'll, I'll post my answer to the discussion or I'll just tell you 
in the office hour, and that'll get you unstuck, and then you can move forward with the lesson, all right? When you finish with the lesson, it gives you all the points. Whether you got the questions right the first time or the tenth time, you got all the questions right, eventually, so you get all the points in the lessons, okay? With the applications, those are graded for correctness. So after you've done the whole lesson, you're going to go to the application in Argos. The application is sort of like a quiz or something. It's, it's a small lesson, it's a small assignment with a few questions just to say, okay, you finished the lesson, are you getting what's going on? Are you getting the, are you getting the answers right? So you'll answer the, you'll answer the application's questions. If you get the questions wrong, though, you'll lose some points. So make sure you know what's going on so that you get as many points as possible on the applications. Okay? Um, because that is graded. All right? Uh, so you'll do those and then go and watch the next video. Okay, now after you've watched the size and scale video, now we're going to the book and doing that tool one calculators. Because the micro task tools are ideally on paper, this is an online class. I'm not going to have you turn the papers in to me. So I'm not going to have you turn these micro tasks out of the book. I'm not going to have you turn them in. But you still got to do them because I'm, I'm giving you some more practice problems after that. So these, these tool practices are, they're, they're questions that's going to be done in Canvas, and those are going to be graded for correctness. So if you finish the micro task and you did all the practice problems and it's all making sense, great. Do the practice assignment and you'll get the questions right. If you haven't done the micro task, the questions are going to be pretty impossible. Um, I will give you more than one attempt, though. So I will give you, usually I have it set up so that, so that the practice assignments will give you three attempts, and at the end, it's going to give you the average of all of your attempts. Your, your final score will be the average of as many attempts as you've done. So if you get the questions all right the first time, great, you got them all right, full full points. If you get if you get a couple of the questions wrong, figure out what you did wrong, and then do the do the thing again, get all the points, and your final score will be the average of those first two. Or if you need to do the third time, it'll be the average of all three. But I want you to make sure you know what's going on before you do the practice, so that you get maximum points first time around. Um, and if you're confused and not sure what's going on, post a question to the discussion or come into office hours so that I can help you out. All right. Um, and then, you know, then do the micro task two out of the book and do the practice problems for that one. All right. And then some more Argos, uh, labs there. Here's the thing. Uh, here's a, here's a piece of, of advice that I could give you. Um, I typically have the lessons in order. Um, here though, so usually I have the, you know, you'll watch the video, then you'll do the Argos labs, then you'll do the micro tasks. That's usually how I have it set up. You don't have to do the Argos lab before you do the micro tasks. You could do those in either order. For me, I think, you know, go through the Argos lesson. If you, by the time you've finished it, you've got it down, and therefore the micro task and the practice will be really easy. But I have had students in the past that found it helpful to, you know, if you, if you start the Argos lesson and you get stuck somewhere, pause, put a pin in that, go to the micro task, do the micro task, and maybe going through the micro task you'll get a better sense of how to do things, and you'll realize, oh, that's what I'm doing wrong, that's how I get unstuck, go back to the Argos lesson, pick up where you left off, and then finish it from there. So I'll leave that up to you. Do the Argos lesson before the micro task, or the micro task before the Argos lesson, whatever works better for you. So maybe doing the micro tasks, because the micro task is short, maybe do the micro task first, and then do the Argos lesson. Whatever works best for you. They're both correct. Um, okay, and that's module one. 
So at, at the end of module two, it'll be the end of two weeks. That'll be the time for quiz one. So before you do quiz one, review modules one and two, and, and then you're ready to do the quiz. And if, com if questions come up, ask them. All right. That's the whole class, right? We're just going to do the, you know, watch the video, do the homework, do the lab, then watch the next video. At the end of two weeks, do the quiz, and then you're ready for the next module. That's the structure of the whole course until we get to the end of the semester, and at the end of the semester I'll have you do the final project, and then we're done. Should be pretty straightforward. Um, so, that's the whole class. If you have any questions or any confusion, uh, go ahead and send me an email or come into office hours. But I think at that point, I've, I've told you everything that needs to be said, so you're ready to get started. So go for it, and I'll see you when I see you. All right. Have a good one, everybody.